What is going on guys, Jay Canada back again, another day, another my team upload. Actually, I will have two uploads again today. Got a cool squad builder challenge going up later, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. It's actually a really good video. I mean, yeah, like I'm proud of it. <laughs> it was pretty good, but today there is some new good stuff in 2K. And as you can see, I'm here on 2K Empty Central because 2K added this Diamond John Wall. Apparently they added him, but like he's not in 2K yet. Like 12 seconds later. Because this John Wall card looks... Oh, there is one. Okay, so first John Wall card on the auction, but I was going to show you on 2K Empty Central. But in any event, here he is. So first one pulled 99 offense, 99 defense. We'll, uh, we'll compare... Yeah, we'll compare him to Chris Paul. So layups, really good. Shooting wise, basically on par with Chris Paul. A little bit lower on the three, of course. Sick ball control. 96 ball control, dude. Pretty good rebounder. Defensive stats, not quite as good as Chris, but look at the dunking. 99 speed, 98. Why didn't they just give him 99 speed with ball? But those two stats, along with the ball control, are really what makes this card awesome. And what about, let me see, badges, one man fast break, pick and roll, mm, relentless finisher. Okay, that's all I needed to see. If he had posterizer, it would have been even more OP, but relentless finisher on Hall of Fame. Dude, this John Wall card is definitely the real deal. I think I'm going to open a few packs just to see if we get lucky with the playoff packs because there's this John Wall and there's also this Diamond James Harden. He's still selling for 400k. Oh my gosh. Like, I like all James Harden cards, but I don't know if this one is good enough to be worth that. Like, you're probably better off just picking up this one. Like, he's basically, the normal Diamond's basically a budget card now. And as I was saying, I am on 2K Empty Central. Was gonna look up John Wall stats, but we will look up Patrick Ewing. Just announced the new pink diamond. Now, I actually haven't looked at his stats quite yet. Oh my goodness. 84 open shot three. Bruh. <laughs> it's truly the end of the year. They are just cranking out these high overalls. Let's see what else. 97 mid, 82 speed on this card. Oh my goodness. 88 driving layup. They don't usually give big men great driving layups. Literally the only thing, only weakness with this card would be his playmaking. I mean, defense is really good. 83 lateral quick. The problem with Patrick Ewing is usually he's slow, but this card, 83 lateral quickness, 82 speed, and he can shoot the three. I don't know what his jumper's looking like. I know in past years when I've used him, his jumper's not that good, but if it's somewhat usable this card's gonna be op and this comment says card's gonna come out around 5 p.m pacific time which is what time is that mm, it's probably in yeah so like five hours from now probably a couple hours in the future if you're watching this video when it drops uh i'll probably go for my hate locker codes man i hate it but uh yeah maybe around 5 or 5 30 pacific because it has to do with the lottery so probably after maybe the first lottery pick is announced they'll drop it or after the lottery in total something like that so definitely go for this card if you need a new center drop stepper awesome badge brick wall awesome badge post spin technician awesome badge good for hall of fame badges definitely I mean, yeah, he would replace Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in my lineup, which would be nice because then I could sell Kareem for a nice little 250 to 300k piece. That would be nice. But anyways, let's get some packs. I'll open, let me open seven with VC. Going for that new John Wall or James Harden. There's also a Bradley Beal. Oh, what? No, I guess it's freaking lucky, boys. Yo, oh my gosh. I know there's some troll diamonds, but you know what? I'll take a nice 40k. There is a ton of trash diamonds. Can we get lucky with one fire one, though? Who is it? Rondo. Okay. Ah, dang it. Um, well, at least it's not Nick Van Exel. That's like the cheapest one. Not sure what Rondo sells for. Maybe if it's like 50k, that could be cool. I'll definitely take it. But yeah, the other two cards that did come out, there's a Amethyst Kelly Olenek, Diamond Bradley Beal. The Bradley Beal's probably cool. He'll probably be a pretty cheap diamond, and I think he's got a couple Hall of Fame badges. Again, I know we all hate Kelly, but it's literally him. Steve Nash and Robert Sacre. Shout out if you know Robert Sacre. Those are the three guys within like, of, I don't know, like two or three hours of where I live in Canada that have played in the NBA. So when one of them has success, you know, I got to show love, I guess. But even though he got his diamond card after the game, I was so disappointed in John Wall, dude. Like he's definitely one of my favorite. Are you kidding me? From now on, I, boy, I got to open every single all the packs on this tv oh my goodness and look at this so i'm gonna open up these four that would be so unbelievable ah, okay kevin johnson i know for a fact he sells for like 30k and can we get lucky one more time flip ball no wow though two diamonds and what like eight packs 
That's actually ridiculous. Let's check how much they go for, but either way, that's pretty phenomenal. So like I said, pretty sure Kevin Johnson sells for like 30K at the most. Um, if it's anything higher than 36, oh, look at that. Higher than 36K, 38, five. I could probably sell Kevin Johnson for 40K. And what about Rondo? Is Rondo going for higher? Rondo is going for higher than 40K, boys. I love it. What about higher than 47K? This would be clutch. Oh my goodness. Is this Rondo expensive? Life is crazy. There we go. All right. So Rondo looking like a nice little 65K. That's a quick 100K MT from eight packs. Bruh, I'm living large in these streets. But definitely let me know, should I pick up that John Wall for my GOAT squad? I think he could replace Chris Paul as my backup point guard. I can't really move Dwayne Wade out. Like, he's so good. But let me know. I'll probably scoop him, get a gameplay up tomorrow or the following day. And if I can get somehow amazingly crazy lucky and get this Patrick Ewing, you know I'll have to add him to the team, bruh. But good luck tonight getting the pink diamond. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. I'm out till next time. Peace.